Tonight is uh, February the 19th, 2013, and I want to show you a nice device that I have up here. It's a 8903A audio analyzer by HP. And I want to thank David up in Ohio for selling me a nice device. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm going to compare this to Tektronix. I'm not trying to make one better or worse than the other just a, a comparison this thing has some really nice features first of all we uh, this oscillator we're actually not using it right now I'm using the oscillator I'm using the uh, SG505 for no particular reason but I've got it plugged in over here to my distribution box here's frequency 982.69 here's 982 983 same number uh, here's THD on the uh, AA501. Here's the THD up there. Sometimes I can make it the same. At these very low values, it, it, I don't know, it's, it's a little, there is some difference. And it depends on how you play with these, uh, these filters. See, there we got 0039. Watch the two. This one is stable. I, I prefer this, uh, uh, THD, th th this uh, distortion analyzer, no filter. Anyway, you got to play with this thing, and sometimes they'll end up being the same. Uh, as far as AC level, see, they're the same 2.60, 2.66. You can divide the two numbers to find out what the ratios are, and they're always within 1% of each other. It's actually a very nice instrument. It's got a feature on it that I that, that I am just totally charmed with. I guess because I'm getting lazy. But let me let me show you this. I'm gonna hook. I'm gonna take the oscillator back off and hook up my eight ohm load because I've got this uh, amplifier here hooked up to the uh, resistors up there, and I'm gonna take this and put it back into there. So I can, I gotta lay the darn camera down. And then plug this back into here. Back into the input. Okay. Now, <clears throat> they've got a lot of, this is how you uh, program it. Well, it's got a special function, special function 19.0, if you can read that, displays level as watts into 8 ohms, or 19.NNN, displays level as watts into NNN ohms. So I'm just going to use 19.0, and the way you use this thing is you say, clear, 19.0 special, and there is its power, a direct readout in watts. And watch this. I'll, uh, I'll start in increasing the gain here. Just watch the whole uh, whole thing here. We can get it all in the camera. Get it focused as good as possible. Watch. Okay, there it is. Starting to clip. Okay, there's our power output right there. Direct output, 72.6 or 7 watts. You can verify that by taking this number, the 24. Point, uh, 24.1 24.1 uh, squared 8 divide we get 72.6 read that not the glare 72.6 watts and this measures 72 point whatever you can do those ratios 72 point 72.2 say enter 72.2 divide see they're within 1.01, they're within 1% of each other. Cool, huh? That's for the lazy man. I like that. I like that direct readout of watts. And uh, it, it works. That's at 1 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz. Crank it back up a little bit. There it is again. 24.3 such. 73 watts. Very nice. It's got some really nice functions in here. Uh, programmable functions these special keys and it should give us exactly the same thing if we try if we decide to choose to 
uh, the resistance that we're reading uh, with a clear, let's say 19.008 special, and there's our number, or just 19.0 selects 8 ohms by default. This is actually a very nice, very nice instrument. Um, to get it back out of this mode, you just press clear. I'm just learning about this instrument, and, and it also has a, a, a 488 to a USB uh, adapter that I'm going to have to learn how to use. There's its frequency, and here's its output. If we use it, let's see, let's do this. Let's take our dummy, our uh, amplifier back off, and let's just put its oscillator in there, and and, uh, and look at it. Now we've got the HP oscillator running at a thousand point two hertz. There it is, thousand. There's there, there's its uh, fundamental frequency on the spectrum analyzer, and there's its voltage. 0 0.3118, 0 0.311, same number. THD on the uh, Tektronix AA5 1.02. If we press distortion up here, you would think you'd get the same number, and that's pretty darn close right there. Well, sort of. If we take the 400 hertz filter off, see, it's even more different. I'm not just, I'm just not totally charmed by this, uh, by the THD readout. I cannot say for an absolute fact that this one is perfect. I do not know that. This one actually may be more correct, more calibrated, but this one is much more stable. And this one just varies so much depending on what filter I use. I mean, which one is it? I don't know. No filter is zero zero six. Yeah, this one stays. This one remains the same. Thirty kilohertz filter? No, I don't think so. Eighty kilohertz filter? No filter. High pass filter. Four hundred hertz filter. That was the closest. Well, anyway, that's what it is. It's actually a very nice device. It, you select frequency right here. Like if you want to change the frequency, you'd say frequency two kilohertz. And there we go. There's our two kilohertz. Right there. There it is. Agreeing with it. Or you can frequency one, two, three, um, four uh, hertz. So we get 1233.9 or oh, well, whatever. 1234 hertz. So you can select that. When you select the amplitude, you say amplitude zero. Uh, DB. There you go. It works. Very nice device. I just love that uh, direct power readout of uh, function 19.0. So I uh, hope you enjoy these little goofy videos. And a uh, very nice instrument, but uh, for my own personal preference, I prefer the Tektronix.